Welcome back everyone to Calm Before the Storm and Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mokulover. Well, hey, I'm Mokulover. And right now, we need to talk about the factions in the NSDAP, which vie for dominance. Since our victory, the task of reconstruction and reorganization has fallen on the bureaucracy. However, it has become clear that there are several factions competing for the Big Daddy's favor. Over several days, the factions have largely coalesced into two. The radical faction, led by Reich Minister of Public Enlightenment and the good old propaganda Joseph Daddy Goebbels, and the conservative faction, led by Mr. Adolf's personal secretary and party minister of the NSDAP, Martin Baldman Bor Borman. The radicals argue that several measures that were necessary before the war are no longer necessary, as they encourage corruption or others. And the conservatives argue that such measures have worked and will continue to work. It's clear that the big old daddy must make a final decision to decide the future of the Empire. Let the games begin, in which we had just finished off. Go over the spoils. But we're going to read about the future of Ger Germany. We need to decide the future of German politics, while the big daddy will reign supreme. We should figure out whether Goebbels, Papa Goebbels radicals, or Bormann's Baldmann's conservatives will take the forefront. In which, I asked you guys yesterday, which way should we go? Joseph or Martin? And overall, there's more votes for at this timing at 10.07 at night for Goebbels. We're going to go Goebbels. He has about double the support right now at, at the time of this recording. Uh, you know, double Bormann's votes. Uh, and we'll got, get to this one on the right here soon, but the political issue. The first issue to be discussed is internal policy. The radicals argue that more propaganda needs to be developed by the cinema, and not the press, as the people have started running and turning towards the cinema. Without the cinema's development, according to Daddy Goebbels, the people will start turning away from the state. The radicals also argue that the bureaucracy needs to be reformed a little, first by limiting the excesses of the elite, although they likely mean the conservative elite, and second by increasing access to the big man himself. According to Papa Gerby, Bowman is trying to control the Reich by controlling the daddy. Although it is clear that Goebbels wants this control for himself, presenting a threat to Mr. Adolf <clears throat> Hitlerino is usually a good way to get one what one want wants. The conservatives, on the other hand, argue for the continuation of current policy, goring himself a very prominent conservative big man, is quoted as saying, the bureaucracy worked before the war and during the war, so why should it work after the war? They also claim that the corruption issue is not an issue at all, and have pointed out that if Big Papa Joseph and the radicals were in their position, they would have the same amount of excesses, possibly more. Borman himself comments that he is not trying to make or take control from Mr. Daddy Hitler, but prevents Papa Goebbels, who he says is far more ambitious from doing the same, who is right. The radicals? Early conservative. Ah, the radicals. We like a little bit of radicalism here in our Germanys. Remind them about help. Oh, yeah. So, actually, here we can go ahead and raise some more divisions. Uh, SS Panzer Grenadier Division likes Daddy SS. And uh, SS Panzer Grenadier Division Gotts von Berlichingen. And the second lot of Vienna Waffen Grenadier Division of the SS. As well as the first Estonian Waffen Grenadier Division of SS. As well as Panzer Division Löwenherz and SS Mountain Division of the SS Ulaas. The economic issue. The radicals have pressured the Fuhrer to allow government intervention into the economy. Although this goes against the National Socialist principles, Goebbels often passes Adolf Daddy on such issues such as bankruptcy and subsidization. According to the radicals, unless something is done quickly, the state will go bankrupt and the economy will collapse. His points are laden with obvious propaganda, encouraging the Fuhrer not to be known as the man responsible for an economic crash. He says that closing unprofitable firms and taking away the SS's enterprises enterprises are also necessary to cushion the blow. After talking with Joseph, Adolf usually goes to Bormann or, you know, Herman, like a child worried about the monster in the closet, to get their opinion on the subject. They say, despite their lack of economic abilities, that although the debt isn't really a threat, some measures of austerity could be useful to focus on paying off the debt. As Bormann points out, less government spending is in line with the National Socialist policies, although Adolf Hitler considers the economy. An afterthought himself, Goebbels' fear-mongering has nonetheless shaken him. What policy should be used? Radicals? Well, since you guys, even though this is not a democracy, I do take into account your opinions. Like I said, I think I think I said in the last video, so or the video before that. But oh, oh we're still making more capital ships and screens. How's the Navy doing, actually? Good enough for another task force. Great, go do that and keep going, and then train. Ah, the foreign policy debate. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of time. I don't care. Now that the Reich is stands triumphant, there's a lot of debate on what our new foreign policy should be. The radicals and factions backing the radicals believe that Germany should be ready to spend, send weapons and technical assistance to friendly groups. Actual armed intervention should be kept to a minimum. Goebbels reasons that the Reich needs time to recover internally before moving to establish a Germanic world empire. Radicals also advocate for trading links with neutralist nations, provided that they too are not ideologi ideologically out of line.
In a rare moment, the conservatives mostly agree on principle, however. They support a greater degree of armed intervention, claiming that the Reich would be in danger if Germany did not send soldiers to secure its interests. They also support the use of the Wehrmacht to ensure that allied nations do not drift away from our influence, and to extort agreements favorable to Germany, interestingly. There are a few holdouts from both factions' opinions. Hitler's SS usually backs the radicals, but this time they offer their own ideas on foreign policy. The SS offers its services to destabilize the potential or political system of a neutralist country to ensure that the Reich remains a hegemon. According to Himmler, the SS is capable of manipulating enemy populations to convert them to National Socialism. However, he never gets far in meetings with the Fuhrer. Will the Radicals win out here, or will the Conservatives take this round? Limited intervention. Limited intervention. And we might be going to war with somebody soon by the end of this episode as well. Just saying. But that is for another time. The Radicals, of course, have claimed victory. We all saw this one coming. The Fuhrer has decided to sit the, the Radicals in the Reich Chancellery. This means that Papa Goebbels and his cohorts will be moved into more prestigious positions. For example, Joseph has been named Minister of the Interior and has already begun implementing his ideas. While the Conservatives cannot really do anything about this, they have begun to think of the Fuhrer as weak-willed as he has succumbed to Goebbels' warmongering. Only time will tell if the Radicals can stop bankruptcy and prevent corruption. At least this is over. We'll remove all foreign uh, economic and interior minister ideas from Germany. Nice. Uh, the Radical Party victory. Goebbels' party radicals have managed to convince the Fuhrer that they should be in charge of managing the bureaucracy. They are expected to extend National Socialism to continue as a national revolution. Oh, yes. A limited estates for the elite. Some members of the party have overindulged themselves with their luxuries. While we are opposed to it, we need to make sure that this would not interfere with their service as a state. Sounds like a pretty good thing. The Reichskommissariat question. Oh, wait. Oh. One of the more hotly debated topics in the Reich Chancellery is the issue of the Reichskommissariats. The radicals argue that Berlin should keep watch on the Reichskommissars with increased presence of liaisons and intelligence officers. They figure that with the ambitious personalities of the NSDAP and the collaborators, it is worth the effort to make sure that they do not try to undermine Berlin's operations for their own gain to them. The Reichskommissariats are simply not integrated German territory and should be administered as such. Thusly, Berlin should watch to make sure that the administration only does what Berlin tells them to. The conservatives see Reichskommissariats as autonomies to be integrated, eventually, but are not yet integral to the Reich. Thus they feel that as long as the Reichskommissars stay loyal to Berlin and follow Chancellor's orders, the Reichskommissars should be allowed to pursue their own personal projects. Bormann makes the point of greater oversight leads to more clever disobedience, which raises some eyebrows as he accidentally identifies a flaw of the National Socialist tyranny. Suffice so it to say that this iron is not lost on the Fuhrer. Say lovey. Cool. And we'll go do this one next. Very good. Um... So the next time we play is this, whenever I get back to the Nazi Germany route for Germany and calm before the storm, please remind me, we need to go with the Conservative Party as well as one of these other choices which I've not addressed yet, which we'll address in just a little bit too, just just because, just because. We'll get there eventually. And more divisions? America, we love your Christian soldiers, but we're okay for now. We're definitely okay. Air Force, Sperl von Grimm. I want more cast. I want to just, the fat man, I can have some, oh, oh, oh I gave you. Oh, there goes from China. He actually gives you more air superiority and ground support. Oh, yes. Big fat man. How's that IV drip, my friend? Anyways. A 30-day focus. This is kind of weird. Propaganda victory? Or victory propaganda. After years of war propaganda, the people now need to understand our new objectives during this new peace. Absolutely. And we might or might not be justifying on a war against the Turks. Because they refuse to come into the war against the Soviet Union. And uh, we're almost there to go to war with them. They have a lot of manpower. Quite a bit, at least. Quite a few divisions. But with all of our allies, I'm not so super worried about it. Now you guys over here, are supplies really this bad? Can we help you out perhaps? That would be very good if we could. I don't think we can help out the mandate for Syria and the Lebanon area, so I'd, I'd rather not lose strength. We're doing over here over here okay as well. We might actually want to increase infrastructure too maybe, as well as some of this. We love air bases. But oh, Jessica Berglund is a smoocher! But Emma Becker can just smash the crap out of people's mouths? Ooh. As you can see, we already have set up quite a few things around here to make sure that we have enough intel for the soldiers. <sighs> Water is great. More divisions for the war machine? Yes, please. Yes, please. And you guys go goodbye. Alright, so we got enough of that for now. Limit estates, that seems like a very good idea. And victory propaganda. Followed up with what? Crackdown on dissidents. Even though we... Have our agent captured, we must rescue our bankruptcy hits. Even though we are at peace, we must remain vigilant against those who might want to ruin our state. Absolutely. Mein Gott, oh no. We have failed to pay off our debts on time. 
and are thus defaulted, oh boy, and gone, bankrupt, due to our quasi-control over the economy, this means that production and constru construction is nearly ground to a halt. The situation is made worse by our employment contracts that made it hard for companies to lay off workers, meaning that they still have to be paid, causing further debt. This whole thing is a vicious cycle and cannot be rectified quickly, my god. I don't think we have the option for that, do we? Ah, and this is Volunteer Panzer Grenadier Division Horst Vessel. Vessel. Eh, it's alright, we're not really trying to build too much here, are we? Hopefully there's not a civil war that could happen here, right? Right? I have no idea. I don't think there is one in yet, but... I know eventually there might be, so... <sighs> well, we're still building... A little bit. <laughs> a little bit, man. Just a little bit. Not too much. Oh, bankruptcy is not good. But this weekly war sport's not going down. Uh, Sophia? Steph Stefan? Marie Weber? Why not? Anything else here? Light tanks, motorized. I really don't care about the, the factories, I'll be honest. Carrier fighters are okay. Interwar. Oh, we are still using interwar panzers. Wow, that's pretty bad. Um, let's get rid of this stuff. Colonial brigades, goodbye. Oh, do we get something done here too? Oh, we need to rescue that person too. Okay, that's that one. Thank you. Boom, boom. There you go. I don't really care. Just do whatever. Just do whatever you can, the best you can. Build another intel network? Because we can. We want to know everything about Turkey. Oh, wait. Oh, we can go to war them now. Okay. Oh, where are you guys at? Oh, you guys... Oh, we want to go to war these guys, too. Zimbabwe is a mistake. Actually, if we go to war with these guys, will we get anything... Any lower times? And a little bit of lag here. And that's okay. Oh, man. That's a lot of lag. It's so laggy, I can see my blue mouse wheel. Wow. That's pretty bad. That's a lot of lag. But we have 94% party popularity. We're very popular here in Germany. I don't think this will help us out. Nope, didn't really help us out. That's fine. Oh, the part of the anti-Soviet pact, huh? Ah, more technology done? Great! Alright, up next. Oh, we barely had this stuff done. We gotta do some tanks, too. Um, that's the reason why we're kind of not attacking yet, because I knew it would be pretty bad around here. Over here might actually be too bad, though. You guys actually might be able to do okay over here. The Mountaineers could probably be improved, too, so. Um, yeah, not too bad overall. I mean, with getting a lot of, well, at least some air superiority, and, uh, oh, well, look at that. Goodbye. And we're done. No more tanks, please. No more tanks. Victory propaganda. And crack down on dissidents. Well, actually, we don't really need to do that, but... Uh, let's do limit Borman's power. Martin Borman, the Fuhrer's personal secretary, has a monopoly on providing access to Hitler, as well as divulging information from, his, from Hitler. We need to take measures to make sure that our faction is heard. Absolutely. Um, then close out of these two, and you go right there. Thank you. How's this guy doing? We're doing great. We've already pushed across the straits. Uh, guys, can you please stop attacking all willy-nilly? We've lost... Wow. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Max Becker's a smoocher, so we'll, we'll take him. Oh, we could have sent our guys down here too, but whatever. I'm a little too lazy at this point to do it. How much more manpower do they have? I can't imagine they have a ton left. They might have mobilized more. Dismiss the old guard? That's probably a bad idea now that you're at war, but... You know, I guess you have infantry equipment, but that's it. No artillery, no anti tank. Big mistake, guys. Big, big mistakes. You guys are here, but not doing anything, so go ahead. We have a lot of. Oh, can we not call these guys in? Oh, they're the puppet of the French. That sucks. You guys are in the war as well, but you're not really doing anything. Uh, do we want to move these guys? We actually might be able to do okay if we attack here. Eh, maybe. Somewhat, yeah. Not bad. After we do that, we're going to fur invest further into cinema. Goebbels is very much interested in cinema. He wants to increase movie production with films about the war and about the party. Which I totally 100% approve. Get some of that. There you go. we get the better ships yet? Oh, we get the they get these. At this point, we're just going to go for 1944 stuff. So if we get any of them, so. Nope. And Titanic. Commissioned by a propaganda minister... Uh, Joseph Goebbels, a new epic out of Tobis films, depicts the sinking of the RMS Titanic in 1912. The tale was to just show the superiority of German filmmaking techniques, which uses the SS Cap Arcona as a set and model ship. Oh, my apologies. I let time go on. Oh, I'm just going to go ahead and just straight up uh, annex them, maybe? Satellite? Uh, just take all this for now. My apologies about that. <clears throat> 
Uh, we use the SS Cap Arcona as a set and model ships for sinking scenes and dependent blame on British greed, of course. The German passengers are depicted in a noble manner, as is, it is a national socialist propaganda piece. However, it has become clear that the film was not run in Germany, as the scene of the uh, sinking itself is too similar to the situation on the home front, as it looks like civilians scrambling during a bombing raid. And of those being shown outside of Germany, it's clear that the film will not be successful. Four million racks mocks wasted. But it's not wasted if we got benefit out of that. Oh, SS Atatürk? Waffen Mountain Division SS yes, cool. The NC. We are victorious, we've won our war. Our enemies have been subdued and we've achieved our war aims. Now we can focus on continuing the development of the National Socialism inside Germany as those well interacting with the Rux Commissariats. Wait, what I uh, I don't mind liberating the, liberating them. Oh please don't tell me it's gonna change a tree here. Oh crap, please, please, please. We could return some Syrian lands, but now we're okay for now. Wow, it's like it's pretty hard to release the one issue here. Then again, it's got to go through the entire focus tree, depending on what it is. So, there you go. And they're back. Um, did that really just cancel it? God dang it. Did you? It, why? Ah, that's not a mod thing. That's, well, that's a paradox issue that actually exists, so. Um, that, that really sucks. Okay, well, that's good to know. Uh, Syria, did you just, don't, no, you don't want anything? We can destroy the Maginot Line in Elsa, so no one's going to be attacking there anytime soon, hopefully. So, we did have to pretty darn well down here. Um, it'd be a bad idea to do this, but, um, actually, are you guys starving for supplies? No, no, no. Well, I'll take you guys, take all of you guys. And you guys are all going to come down here to Africa. What's not to love in Africa? We love Africa here. Mozambique, yes? Do we have any better? No, we don't. Okay. Well, that mightily sucks. I'm not going to lie. That mightily sucks. And I don't know when we're going to get another event. And we're going to keep getting a lot of these. Stefan Fisher? Man, he's got a chin. Look at that dude. Wow. Yeah, we got to get Mr. Chin Man. Well, we're going to study Southern Rhodesia a whole lot here. And we'll take out Afghanistan so we can actually be united with, with uh, the German Raj. I, as you can tell, I really want to learn about Rhodesia. So that's why we sent out all of our intelligence agency over there, so... After this, I might just go through this a little bit faster. Closer test to the Ruxus Commissariats. Ideology of violence sounds like fun. And appoint Goebbels as successor. But whenever he dies. And they'll do a lot of stuff over here too. So, that'll be good. And de demobilize. Oh boy. Oh, straight to civilian economy. Wow. Begin paying her debts? Oh, maybe we should have done that one first. And rationing? Oh, are we in rationing still? What is rationing? Improved national spirits. Racial laws. Oh, eh. Actually, that's not terrible. That's not too bad for us. Convoy interdictions. At this point, research doesn't really matter too much, so. Neither do factories, so invest further into cinema. Great. And we'll read the next book as soon, right after this. Max Bauman's looking pretty darn good. Let's use him and all of you guys. Uh, there you go. To Africa. Cool. Emil Weber? Yes, please. Alright, let's go on in. Actually, are the SS divisions down here? Yes, they are. And let's go on in. And now it's going to lag a little bit more. I really don't like how this hard this lags. Oh my goodness. Not very bueno when it lags this hard. Whew. Wow. Yeah, maybe we should stop going to war with enemies then. But then again, I want to do at least one more. There you go. This is why I like to just annex all of our allies. Or potential allies or enemies. Just, it's so much easier doing it like that. But, let's keep going. Alright, so, ideology of violence. We will use our propaganda to promote Himmler's vi ideology of violence, and teach that violent acts during the war were in fact a good thing. This should be enough to pacify anyone uneasy by their actions. And there goes Zimbabwe. As it should be. Yes, please. And no freedom for them. They're empty. Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to get this one done first. Wh okay, maybe we should stop going to war then. Ah, one more time. Just one more time. Just one more time. Happy 1944, everyone. And ideology of violence. And then we'll go ahead and get closer ties to the Reichskommissars. We need to increase Berlin's influence on the Reichskommissars. Perhaps some bribery is in order. I do want to make sure that we get Goebbels as fast as possible. Because you never know when Papa Adolf is going to die. Or Papi Adolf. Just because, you know, make a kick with the bucket. It is 44. There were coup attempts to take him out. Anyone has Operation Valkyrie, maybe? So, we'll see what happens. And this time we can spend time with our carriers. And anything else? Subs are nice. But, eh... 
and I'll be all. Get some heavy guns. We're like I'm heavy. We're like I'm huge. Oh, nice. That's actually really good, too. Um, no radar? I did not do radar yet? Oh, what's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? At, as, at this point, technology doesn't really matter either, so. That's nice. That's good stuff right there. Cool, dive bombing? Oh, I guess we can do that next. Okay, there you go. There you go. And then over to this one, you can have what? This one, too. There you go. Nice. Don't bother with that stuff again. Marie Eller. Very nice. And I'll come up here and say no. And actually, do we even make these guys yet? No. Okay, there you go. Uh, that's fine. Pop these guys out. Nope. Nope. And all these guys are going to be gone. Out of a job soon. Because we don't need their stuff anymore. Two, three, four. Cool. And then we'll do cl closer test of the Rex Commissars. He includes the brilliance influence of the Rex Commissars. Perhaps some bribery in order? You bet it is. You betcha. You chet, you betcha. You guys are all starving in Africa? Well, that's kind of the intent. But anyways. Um, yeah, go over here. Come down. If you start, we thought you're starving down in Africa. You're gonna be starving here in India. Uh, we really don't care about all these extra military factors. I'll be honest. So there you go, and there you go too. Cool. So after this one, we're going to appoint Goebbels as the successor. Now that the radicals have succeeded in entrenching their doctrine in the bureaucracy, we can name Joseph Goebbels as the next daddy, or the leader, really. So when the Führer dies, which I don't know when he's gonna die, is it? What was it Thousand Week Reich has been dying 52 or I think or something like that 52 53 and then uh Tia no he dies in 63 October 63 so because of the way see SS Freiwilligen Panzer Division it's probably just you know volunteers cool and after that we could escalate this stuff I don't want to do that yet because we have debt so begin paying our debts we have accumulated a massive debt during the war which we must start paying off same simple oh my goodness the Albanian Baffin Mountain Division of the SS Skanderberg First White Ruthenian Waffen Grenadier Division of the SS. First French Waffen Grenadier Division of the SS Charlemagne. SS Volunteer Panzer Group Division Dixie. Oh, forming SS Division out of the Americans of the Deep South would be an important step in playing the South against the North. Composing, uh, composed of sympathetic French men. Uh, Charlemagne could possibly supplement the army in the East or West. Pulling White Ruthenians in the SS will be an interesting experiment. We will eagerly review the capacity to fight the former Bolshevik overlords and Skandenberg. Skandenberg will be a form to protect Albania and Kosovo against our enemies. It will be primarily composed of Albanian volunteers and will be assisted by German specialists. Wow, this is kind of uh, nuts. A Dixie, that's fine. Friedrich Wilhelm, named the Prussian general who helped win America its independence. This division will be the North defense against the Dixies. <laughs> we have two of them, huh? But that doesn't make any sense. The Prussian general helped North America. Is it really free from Vels? Yeah, whatever. Kabul needs to die. Nice. Oh, we've got a lot of these guys. Oh, why did I do this? Um, there you go. But we, better engines. Better torpedoes. Well, same torpedoes, I guess. Slightly better, those guys. That's fine. We have a little bit of time. Let's do that. Um, I should have went to war already, but whatever. Really hate the enemy subs. There you go. Two... Three, four. There you go. Cool. To go to war. Can we kill, can we kill these guys off faster than anything else? Oh crap! I forgot about the lag. Oh my goodness! My apologies. Yeah, after this, we're done going to war, with people. We're done because it's just it just takes too long. Uh, it's lagging so hard right now. And this is why I just want to straight up eat people up. Just eat them. Nom 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 nom. Actually, if we took out China. That might help. But we have so many allies that the game's like we got to call every single one of our allies in. All right, and you guys go in. Oh, you guys don't have orders, huh? That's kind of a mistake. At this point, you just might as well take them out first. Right, Adolf? That's right, Adolf. Adolf says yes. Adolf says national socialism is cool. Go, my SS divisions, go. Well, oh, the Italians are doing pretty well. We're doing we're a little bit above the Spanish state now. Come on, take out Kabul. Oh, man, you guys. You guys suck. You guys are the big... Really, so just some huge losers. What the heck, von Witzleben? What the heck? You didn't want to fight to, towards Kabul? Look at the SS. So strong. So mighty. Just, they... But Heinz is doing a great job. Let's put it like that. And Kabul has fallen. Almost. There they go. They're dead. They died. As they should. 
Cool. And we'll take them out. And slightly not speed up the game by annexing them. Cool. Get and seek. And let's go do this. Paying off for debts. Nice. Because now, Goebbels has, has succeeded. We can't do this, because we need both of these. So we could do Crankdown on Dissidents, but we can do that one later. Direct ground support is not bad. I can't believe I, I didn't do any of this stuff during the war. Actually, I usually go choose the left one. So let's do Fighter Ace Initiative, just because I'm thinking of go Goring here. So, um, no, no, and there we go. Occupation of Afghanistan. Now nah, we'll eat this one. We'll eat this one, that's fine. Just because, uh, I don't want to deal with it. I want less lag. And I know it's not a lot less lag, but it'll, it'll work. It'll work for now. Um, these guys are still killing each other. Republic of China. There you go. You can be sent to the Far East so you don't disturb us. Makes sense with us. Alright, up next, we're going to read. Uh, demobilize. Decreasing? No, no, no. End rationing. Now that the war is over, there's no more need to, for, to ration a consumer's pet food and petrol. Man, I don't like how long these things take. They take quite a while to do. We can't even build anything, so I guess getting rid of rationing is probably not a good idea, but hey, the Orange Free State's looking pretty good, even though they have no manpower to put down resistance here. Wow, that sucks. Can I have you put down resistance, actually? No, that sucks. Yeah, overall, not too bad, actually. This is the resistance map mode. This is all going down here. I love that we own Northern France still. Oh, another one? Cool, thank you. Beautiful. But the map mode right now, some resistance... Wait, do we not integrate Alsace-Lorraine? Please tell me we get to integrate all sorts of rain. Please tell me we do that. This stuff, all, a lot of the stuff should be our core territory by now, but whatever. And rationing. Bankruptcy is imminent, huh? Building a new Germany. Not in a civil war. Oh. Reich's Institute for Architecture. Well, okay. Demobilize. Like, do we have to do that one? Yeah, we have to do that one next. Okay, so then. Decreasing military activity will be a minor dent in the economy, but we should be able to recover from it. Oh boy. All right, everyone. So here we're at. And we have already are doing Simulate the Economy because Bankruptcy Intimate already auto-completed. We don't have enough resources to pay our debts. We must act quickly to prevent bankruptcy. And Goebbels wanted us to not do austerity. That was kind of the conservative option. So we're going with Stimulate the Economy. In order to bring in money to pay our debts, we have to make sure that money's actually being made. And what's next? We're going to go ahead and do... Reinstate Rations? Ooh. Um, yeah, we might want... Actually, we go straight back to that, huh? Building a new Germany. We can use our Pilfer industrial power to embark on a large construction projects to mold the world into the image of Germania. Yes. Very much yes. Very good. And actually, I started cutting down things. I took out like one or two armies here. Not too much, but just one or two. I spent a lot of political power. We, for the last focus, we went to civilian economy. Now I've just back up to mo early mobilization because we're really lacking a lot of consumer goods right now, which is super bad. Economic, economic stimulus hurts us. Bankrupt, being bankrupt probably sucks. So that's really bad. Military armaments, it's not very good either. We have racial laws, improving national spirit, which is nice. Um, close unprofitable firms, probably. Uh, and we definitely want to go down to do, to do all this stuff, so. How about we do Institute de Architecture? We could do that one. Or we could just talk about Escalate the Kitchen Kampf. Rosenberg versus Create the National Reich Church. New Rival for Christ. The end of the Bible. Nothing here seems like it gives us a lot of good stuff in terms of, like, civilian or goodies of raised taxes. Ooh, that wouldn't have been too bad. Decreased military spending. Yeah, no. Oh, uh, we'll just do... not that one. Let's do further privatize the economy. We should continue our policy of privatization in order to bring in some funds. Why not? We can try it. Cool. Get more PP so we can get some more civvies. And how many are needed? Like, we have too many. Uh, where negative 193 can be used for trade. Well, Jesus Christ. That's a ton. That's a whole ton. That's why I'm zoomed in a little bit, to so help speed things up a little bit more. So, after this one, reinstate rationing. I don't want to do that, but I guess basically we have to go back to it. Setting up some rations will help ensure that we have some stockpiles in case things go south. Uh, and happy 1945, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. I think from here on out, I'm just going to read some of these focuses, and I will come back to us. How many more capital ships, huh? Well, if we don't get that, we're going to lose naval XP. It doesn't really matter, though, since we've already won the wars anyways. So... We could do a lot of these. I'll let you read about these if you'd like to, but yeah, I think I'm just going to do a lot of these off screen just to keep speeding, speeding things up a little bit more. Hungarian Waffen SS, second Hungarian Waffen SS, uh, the first Flemish SS Volunteer Division, Langemak, never heard of that one before, and Walunin, Walonin, yeah, Lane de Grove, never heard of him. SS uh, Police Grenadier Division, nice. Ah, Del Vanga Brigade, okay, I gotta do that one. 
So I we didn't get to read that one, but you know. Expanding Dovanga's brigade of criminals and prisoners of war should prove to be interesting. Hopefully they, they can use their talents for our purposes. Oh yes. Lutos, the ad hoc division composed of German, Volks, Deutsch, and Hungarians, should immediately go to fight the Soviets. Uh, SS Volunteer Panzer Grenadier Division Banshee by recruiting some virulent anti-British Irishmen into the SS. The Banshee will be soon feared by London. And Montu, Himmler is an admirer of the ancient Egyptians and wants to revive that spirit by making an Egyptian SS division. The first Indian buff in the Grenadier Division of the SS. An Indian division of the SS will go a long way in our propaganda to get the Indians to side with us against the British. Reinstate rationing. And then Visigoth. The Spanish people have Germanic roots, at least according to Himmler. It, remind, it is time to remind them of this. And then Lucis, said to be companion of the Roman god Bacchus. This would be a good name for a unit composed of the Portuguese. You know, we're very diverse here in the SS. The SS has some of the most diverse people you could ever meet. You know, Indians. I think even at some point we like Iraqis or something, or North African uh, soldiers as well. Like, very, very diverse. Egyptians, of course. Egyptians, Indians. Irish people. I don't know. But let's read some more of these so I can just do some of these, some of these off screen, such as uh, let's see, subsidized consumer goods factories. That would be very nice. Go after Himmler's enterprises. Himmler's SS ventures that were never been very profitable. We should go and force them to close most of them down. Close unprofitable firms. Businesses that take up valuable capital and haven't made a profit in the last year should be closed down, as well as the Reich's Institute de Architectura. The Reich Institute for Architecture will place will be the place to train high-performing architecture students in advanced techniques of Albert Speer and Welthauptstadt Germania. Berlin or Germania, as it will be known, will be the shining jewel of the Reich, with humongous expansions that show off the power of the Reich. Alright, everyone, so, right now we are doing Jugendstadt des Führers, in which the home city of the Führer and the city of the founding of the Greater German Reich, Linz will be a German Budapest and will replace Vienna in the terms of grandeur and prestige. But we really need to escalate the Kirchenkampf. Due to the church's opposition to our policies, we have waited to fight the Christians until the war was over. Well, the war is now over, and so we should continue to pursue this objective, in which there is more support between the National Reich Church and the Rosenberg's 38-point plan. There's more support now for Rosenberg's 30-point plan. So this one on the left here is the route we're going to do. Uh, just because there's more support for that side. So it is what it is, but happy 1946, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. And we're doing quite well ourselves. Quite well. Let's see. Any other divisions? Please, America, please stop sending me your divisions. We've got quite a bit of PP. 1.117, one, 1 which is not bad. But we do need a Gesamt Bauplan for the Reichshauptstadt. But we need more civvies, but we don't have any civvies because we have all sorts of economic issues. I've already gone all the way back to war economy, but we can't build Jack Squat because we don't have enough civvies. So, I think this is some sort of oversight by the game, which we can't really do anything here. So, uh, yeah, not very good. Not very good right now. But, as the coach comp. Hopefully we can pay off our projects or pay off our things. Because if not, I'll just use console commands to get these, this stuff done. Because, uh, yeah, I guess we should have focused on our, you know debt before, but I don't even know how much debt we really had. Maybe maybe it was there and I wasn't paying attention to it, but um, I don't think there's any sort of way that we can get rid of this stuff. Because oh, look at all this. You can start des Führers. For 800 days, build the Führer Museum. Uh, it'll be the largest painting collection in Europe where we will display looted artwork from across the continent. Its design is based on the House of German Art in München and will be centerpiece of the Hitler Zentrum or Hitler Center. Cool. Advanced housing projects. We should use Reichswehrxem and Goring to bring in workers from Vienna in order to build housing in the outskirts of Linz and on the Danube. These housing projects will provide even more reason to make Vienna a backwater. Build a Kraft durch Freude Hotel. A Hotel for Strength and Joy program will increase Linz's status in the opinion of the working people. Therefore, it should be a priority. Build a NSDAP party headquarters with Rodrich Fix new party house. Party headquarters in the Gau and all of Ostmark will be moved to Linz. Very nice. And I was going to do Rosenberg's 30 point plan. Alfred Rosenberg, the party's chief ideologist, has outlined a 30-point plan to eliminate Christianity in favor of a mystic form of national socialism. We shall go with his ideas to fully, effectively turn Hitlerism from an ideological cult to a full-on religion and the Reichstadion. The Reich Olympic Stadium will be a massive stadium used for all national-level sporting events and will be able to sit over 20,000 people. It will remind people of the athletic prowess of the German people, if the Americans don't win again, at least. Well, maybe. Build a new Wehrmacht HQ. Command of the armed forces in Ostmark will be handled from Linz, hidden behind the Halps. It is even more defensible than Vienna. 
to an observatory. In order to counter the pseudoscience and the influence of the Catholic Church, an observatory must be built. It will be used to represent Ptolemy, Copernicus, and Helbiger, considered by the Führer to be the three of the greatest minds in Europe. There are still better minds than the Führers. And build the Nebelungen Bridge. The Nebelungen Bridge will be a massive suspension bridge to cross the Danube. And will have artwork depicting the Nebelungen Saga of Norse mythology, along with the equestrian statues of Siegfried, Krimhild, Gunther, and Brunhild, or Brunhilda. And we still have more divisions here, and we can do the one for Alexander. Named after the famous Macedonian king, Alexander is best used for anti protestant operations in Greece. That just makes sense. Cool. So we've got a lot of things we can build here, and there's a lot of pros uh, things for down uh, down south, down and down here as well. But I think we want to focus on this side first. Uh, claim hegemony over the churches. The state and, the or and its organizations will claim hegemony over all churches in Germany. This will also make even more radical changes. Now, fortunately, because of time constraints, I will have to have another episode after this just to finish off everything, and I might have to use console commands for doing all this stuff because I, I literally don't know how. You're supposed to have enough civvies to do all this stuff because we can't even build anything. So, people expect 54% of our number of civilian and military factories to produce consumer goods. Leaving us with zero factories where minus 200 can be used for trade, which is insane. Absolutely insane. Um, bankruptcy is really bad, obviously. Economic stimulus is here. Privatization. Is there an end date for this stuff at all? Just because I will have, I will use cons commands if needed, so. Uh, no. Rationing, of course, helps us. Privatization doesn't really do anything for us. Economic stimulus is, eh. Bankruptcy. I hope there's a way to get rid of the bankruptcy. I really hope there is a way, but there might not be a way, so we might just do stuff off screen anyway, so. Get things done that we really want. We have racial laws, we have the anti-Soviet pact, plunder resources, autarchist laws. Actually, that that gets removed later on. Oh, in a few months. Uh, Anti-intellectualism, strength through joy, Sondergericht. We have working towards the Fuhrer. We have Geheime Staatspolizei, Hitler Youth, as well as Grosse Generalstab. And up next, we'll make the objective public. Although the regime's hate for Christianity is very well known, or outright desire to eliminate Christianity in favor of a national socialist religion, it's still technically a secret. Uh, but it's not going to be a secret any longer. So, there you go. We have a lot of uh, naval XP if you look over there. Wowzers. Hegemony over the churches. After a nightfall yesterday, the presence of armed guards, mostly from the SS, has increased around churches on daybreak. The Fuhrer made a speech in front of the NSDAP headquarters in Wittenberg, the birthplace of the Protestant Reformation, claiming that under his initiative, National Socialist operatives have managed to secure state influence over all churches in the nation. This is merely one step in eliminating Christianity from Germany. An interesting development. Interesting. I guess we can read about these ones. The Volkshalle? The Volkshalle of the People's Hall will be the official museum of National Socialism where our artifacts will be kept and propaganda mercilessly repealed or repeated in order to ensure public worship of the Fuhrer. Build the Praktali. The access to Berlin's new organization with the Praktali, or Avenue of Splendors, comparable to Michigan Avenue in Chicago or the Arbat in Moscow, this will be a five kilometer long boulevard bus built specifically for military parades. As a result, it will lead new tunnels as it will be closed to motor traffic. Very good. Uh, we can do that one too next. Very nice. Uh, follow with that one would be Build the Grosse Platz. The Grand Plaza will be an open square encompassed by the Führer's Palace, the Old Reichstag, the Reich Chancellery, the Oberkommando des Wehrmachts, HQ, and the Volkshalle. Yeah, we don't have any civvies for this. Build the Triumphbogen von der Führer. The Führer's Arc de Triumph will be able to fit the French Arc Triumph within its opening, in order to remind the world that it is Germany, not France, that is triumphant. The names of the two million Germans dead in the First World War will be carved into the uh, structure, which is actually really cool. Yeah, they do that. Uh, shoot Stoffel. Oh, we have enough shoot, off, shoot Stoffel for now. Um, I'm disappointed that we can't do anything else. Dismantle the line? No, not prospect for resources, but we just have no civvies. Propaganda efforts? I mean, there's nothing here we can do for civvies. I've done all that we can. Can I remove someone from the cabinet, maybe? Hitler's not great for the cabinet, but the goal of the Christian comp. While many mid-level bureaucrats know about our opposition to the church, the public has largely been kept in the dark. However, with their preparations, it will be impossible to keep our objective private. Therefore, we shall tell them. The objective of the Kirchkampf is to exterminate foreign faiths imported to Germany in 800 AD. By the end of our operations, National Socialism will be prevailing ideology in Germany. We must act slowly, and we'll do... And let's read one more that I'll do off the screen, as we get through the next one. I'll do this one off screen as well, so... I really wonder if we can get rid of some of this debt. So, eliminate Christian symbolism. We'll make an effort to remove crosses, saints, and other such symbols from churches. But I think we'll end it here. Please let me know in the comments below if you think I should use comments commands or just use like decisions dot no checks just to get through this stuff. I don't mind having the PP for this, but like, I'm not sure how we're supposed to have any civvies at this point. I guess I might have screwed up, but like, at this point, there's nothing we can do, and I would really like to get all this stuff done. But 
If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, or in, in the next video, whenever that comes out, in which we will build all the great stuff that Germany deserves. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!